there's a big difference between customer satisfaction and customer loyalty. Customer satisfaction is always an opinion, an assessment, a snapshot. It's the answer to the question, looking back, are you happy with what we've done for you? Have we fulfilled your conditions of satisfaction? Have we met your expectations? In fact, the traditional definition of customer satisfaction is meeting customer expectations. But there was and there is an assumption in this pursuit of customer satisfaction that has proven to be not true. And the assumption was that a satisfied customer would also be a loyal customer. But we have seen that customer satisfaction has become quite common. Many organizations today can meet expectations. But that does not mean that a satisfied customer will be a loyal customer. So what is loyalty and how do you earn it? Real customer loyalty is actually a combination of nine different behaviors and each of them can be valuable for your organization. Number one, a customer who comes back, obviously. A repeat customer is a loyal customer. Number two, a customer who buys more, more frequently, more volume, more of their total purchasing in your area, more share of wallet. Number three, a customer who buys your premium items, your higher priced or higher value offers. A loyal customer is more likely to buy the bundle, the whole package, the longer term agreement. Number four, a loyal customer is more likely to refer or recommend you to someone else. Answer high on the question, how likely are you to recommend our company to your colleague or your friend? But not only give you high marks on the score, but in the actual behavior, making specific recommendations and referrals, telling their friends about you and making the effort to tell you about them, making the introduction, making the connection. Number five, loyal customers give compliments to you and your team. They give you compliments in writing, over the phone, or face to face. And this is uplifting for the morale of the people in your organization. Number six, loyal customers speak highly about you in public places. They give you compliments on a website, a blog, a newsletter, in the newspaper, or on any other social community or network. Number seven, loyal customers defend you when you're under attack. Now, everyone makes mistakes, and a satisfied customer will often just keep it to themselves. But a loyal customer will speak out in your defense, give balance to the negative feedback, even refer a complainer to you to help you get an issue solved. Number eight, a loyal customer gives you constructive feedback when you fall or when you fail. Most other people would just walk away, or they might even tell others, but not your loyal customers. They want you to succeed. They will give you the constructive feedback that you need to improve. And finally, number nine, a loyal customer will give you competitive intelligence and insight. They'll take the time and make the effort to tell you what other organizations are offering, what other organizations are doing, and how they're improving keeping you up to date on what's happening in your industry and your market. And customer loyalty is so much more than customer satisfaction. So how do you earn customer loyalty? Well, it's not just by meeting expectations. You must be a service provider who shows that you truly understand what your customer values and that you'll take action to provide that value and increase that value over time. You've gotta be proactive, always looking for ways to help your customers get more value and be more successful. Now this is something that you can only demonstrate over time and something that requires others in your organization to work closely and effectively with you. 
That is why a culture of superior service is so important, so that everyone is working together. Internal service providers providing better service to external customer-facing service providers, so that external service providers provide better and more valuable service to your customers. And that produces customers who are not just satisfied with what you did, but customers who are loyal because they're delighted with what you did and confident in what you're going to do now and into the future. Customer satisfaction or customer loyalty? Which do your customers really want? Which do you really want? Now, what are you going to do to earn it? Got some ideas? We'd like to hear them, and we can help.